I never say anything stupid. Uh huh. Hello. I was filming a moment ago. But there's been a brief pause while somebody went, you've put makeup on now, you look like a toe, and went to put their own makeup on. It's got to be done, it's got to be done. I have put makeup on because I also looked like a toe previously. It did look like a toe. Welcome back. This video is, it's kind of, it's kind of a mess, it's always going to be a mess. It's always going to be a mess. Always a mess when we're involved. Yeah, always, always a mess. We have decided to do a thing. We have decided to do a cutting back on what you spend thing. So I thought we'd go with something snappy, some sort of snappy title like Carlo and Tammy spend too much and need to rein it in a bit. That's not snappy. It's, it's well known. I'm well known for my snappy titles. Okay. Like, I haven't got a better suggestion to so go with that. We've just come back from a cruise. Now, actually, I didn't spend too much on the cruise, but cruises themselves are a little bit pricey. Tammy went through more money. You went through more money than I did. A lot more money than you did. Yeah. Yeah, new jacket. Yeah. Found Loxitan shop though, didn't I, in La Rochelle? She found Loxitan shop. She was surprised to find a French hand cream <laughs> shop in France. That was an odd conversation. But it doesn't just sell hand Didn't cream. expect them to have Loxitan here in France. <laughs> I forgot it was French, all right? <laughs> I usually buy mine at the mall, all right? <laughs> so, Tammy spent more money than I did on the cruise. The actual cruise spending, not the huge issue. But, cruises are expensive and we want to go on more. We are about to book another one for next May and we want to go to the Caribbean... We are going to the, the Caribbean. year after that. Is it the May again? March. The March after that. And these things need paying for. And Cosy lives and all that. So we decided we would try and retrain our spending habits a bit and rein ourselves in for the month of June. Plan A was no, no spend, spend June. Nothing. No spend no. June. We we veered quite quickly away from plan A, I think. I think yes, we need to eat <laughs> and live. There is a lot of food in this house. There are two full freezers several full cupboards and I've been talking for a long time about how we need to eat down some of the food in this house so the plan is to not do very much shopping to only buy the basics the basics just for anyone who's new here we are not a couple that's something that comes up quite often we are not a couple this is my house where I live with my daughter and my son and Tammy is our lodger stroke roommate stroke whatever but we've been friends for 20 years she's lived with us on and off over those 20 years yeah. and um and yeah we're, we're fairly Fairly in tune with each other. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what bloody tune I, it is. I don't, but... Yeah, I don't know what it's, it's definitely out of tune. That's possibly a cat's chorus. I don't know, but yeah. So yeah, so when I said I need to spend less, Tammy said, and me too, and and we thought we thought this would be the way. But no spend June was a bit scary, wasn't it? it, it yeah, it's, I just don't see how we're going to do it because there is going to be things like milk mm -hmm. and stuff and drinks if you're out. And obviously it's June, so if you, mm -hmm. are, you need a bottle of water, you need a bottle of water. You mm -hmm. can't just go, oh, right, I'll, I'll, I just won't drink anything in the heat because... And this is so. supposed to train us to think ahead a bit more. So things like taking bottles of water with you when you go out and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, taking drinks to work with you rather than popping over the shop. Because do you not find that you pop over the shop for a bottle of water... And spend six quid. And spend six quid. And, the and then water three quid they come out without the water because of the menopause. <laughs> <laughs> so you come out and you go, well, I got some crisps while I was there and that pasty looked nice. And So the, the, the thing is to stop the random spending of six quid here, five quid here. We've also been spending too much at bingo. So we want to rein that in. I spend too much at home bargains and B&M. Yeah. I go in for one thing and I come out and it's always yeah. 40 or 50 quid. It's ridiculous. Literally, I went in there the other week for... I went to, well, I went to farm foods and I had to pick up some wraps. And I came out with biscuits, beetroot and jellies. I mean, I didn't even think I needed the them. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> even get the wraps because they didn't have any. Yeah. But yeah, it's just you go in to get something and you just end up spending money. Yeah, so I spent £6 pounds in, in farm foods yesterday on things I didn't even go in the shop for. Yeah. Um. So it's just, it's So madness. we need to rein it in a bit. So we decided no spend June was a bit extreme, but we were going to go budget June. And we decided that that budget would be £100, each of us, because we have independent finances, because of not being a couple. <laughs> yeah, you won't get my money. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't got any money. <laughs> £100 <laughs> each of us for the entire month. And it needs to cover all of the little incidents. So it doesn't need to cover 
bills because obviously you can't pay your bills in the UK for £100 a month. In fact, if you live somewhere where you can Please pay all know. your bills for £100, <laughs> let us know. We'll be there. We'll buy a ticket. Yes. In, Ju- in July. Yeah. Because we can't <laughs> buy it in June. <laughs> Yeah, if you know if you know somewhere where you can live for hundred quid a month, let us know and we'll go there. But yeah, so it doesn't include the household bills. They're obviously covered. This is a spending budget. This is a frittering budget. This is, you know, the, like I said, the popping in B and M. I don't need to buy fuel, and Tammy doesn't think she needs to. I should have about enough to last me until the last bit. I usually fill up the car at the beginning of the month when we get paid. Bear with. Sorry, my phone rang and we've forgotten a bit where we were, but I think we were saying that it doesn't have to cover bills. You don't need petrol. That's what we were petrol, saying. Petrol, yes. Yeah. So I usually, when I get paid, because we get paid every four weeks, um, I usually fill my car up on payday and then it usually, but with being on holiday, I've got over half a tank left. Mm-hmm. So I reckon on I should have enough fuel. Yeah. To so even if towards the end of the month you had to put like a fiver in Yeah, that, that, that would be fine. Got a tinky car, tinky tiny car. It's 108. Not a Healy. Do not refer to my car as a Healy. I don't know. Nobody would ever call your car a Healy. Nobody would do that. Now, I want to interject a little extra something here before we go forward with this bit, because it's just as well that we're doing Budget June. Not May. Not Budget May. Because we bumped into someone in... Subway. Subway the other day. And we bumped into one of you guys. So you may remember when I used to do the lives with Lex, um, there were an awful lot of Claire's who used to come in the side chat. And we jokingly had a Claire count. And we did Claire count one, and, and I can't remember whether this Claire was Claire count one, Claire count two. I think it depends on who got there first. And also, I can't remember the surname that Claire was using. I think she might have been Claire Cairns, but I'm not sure because she's now using a different surname. I presume she's on the run. So she is now Claire Recall. On the run. Recall, on the run. Claire on the run. She's now Claire Recall, and I'm going to put in her Instagram bump here in front of Tammy's face here, right? So that you can see that. And why am I mentioning her? Because when we bumped into her, in Subway. Subway. Why can't I remember where that was? I don't know. She Subway. had on a, a, a watery backpack. A watery backpack. Like kind of... Yeah, you know, it's like a hose thing with a whole yeah, flask they, of water they call, on the Is back, it a camel pack? I think they're called Something camel packs. Something like that, yeah. And basically... People I was don't like, have festivals with wine, but Claire actually had water. She had water. Impressed. Impressed. And I was like, are you, are you out for a run? She was like walking and she told us why. Claire is doing... A hundred K. A hundred K walk, which is 62 miles, is it where I came It's something ridiculous. A hundred K charity... A hundred kilometres charity walk. And That's it's been done days. over 48 hours, I think she said. It's been days. done over two days, yeah. A hundred kilometres in two days. I don't think I've walked a hundred kilometres. Come on, 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 I, no, <laughs> I, I I did a five k for um, dementia. But you were younger then. But that was like yeah, I was yeah. Don't rub it in because you're still younger than you. Um, but that was about eight eight nine years ago. I did yeah. that. She's I doing a hundred k. She's doing it for Parkinson's disease. Now Parkinson's disease is what Billy Connolly um, yes. is is experiencing. It is has is suffering. I don't like the word suffer. No, he it doesn't. It's no, suffering. but He's that's Billy Connolly has Parkinson's. And it's I what, Michael think J. Fox Michael J. Well. Fox, yeah, Michael yeah. J. Has he died? No, no. You said had. Has. I mean, yeah, has. And, and Michael J. Fox as well. Anyway, Claire's doing this 100k sponsored walk, oh. charity walk. It's a lot. 100 kilometres. And she's in training for it, and it's about four weeks' time. Yes, in four weeks. So she was doing it at the end of June. Yeah. So I'm going to put the link into Claire's Just Giving page. I'm going to put a screenshot here, and I'm going to put the links to Claire's Just Giving page because she has not yet hit her target. And I get approximately three to 5,000 views per video. And I know Cosy lives. I know we keep talking about yeah. everybody's got any money. But there's three to 5,000 of you that watch this video. And I reckon some of you could probably spare a pound. Yeah. Some of you might be able to spend more than a pound. Some of you might not be able to even manage a pound. But if you can, please run or walk to Claire's Just Giving page, which is a lot nearer than 100k, mm. and pop some money on. I put some money on. Tammy's put some money on. Tamsin was there as well. She's put. She, she, so we've we've done a little bit to help, but we think you guys could do so much more than us. So many more of you, yeah. and so much potential. And I don't tend to use my what they could they call it a platform. You use your platform for good. I don't tend to use my channel for anything very useful apart from just sitting here blibbering. So if we can do something useful, and if we can get you guys on board with that, that would be, be great. Amazing. So yeah. all of the links in the description box, and massive kudos to Claire for. Being able to, for being, for being able to Even walk. Think, is it like, yeah. Yeah. A hundred kilometres in a weekend. 62 miles in a weekend. On your own feet. Hmm. Yeah. 
I had walked from the car to the subway and I was always like, I need to sit down now. So yeah, massive, massive well done to Claire. We are, it was so lovely to see you as well. I hadn't seen her for a couple of years. I've met her several times before, but I hadn't seen her for a while. And it was lovely to see you and we are so impressed with you. And I really hope that people will run along to the Just Giving page and um, stick a couple of quid on. That'd be great. And we did that before, before the beginning That's of right, June. That's how we did it from the beginning of June. <laughs> because... <laughs> We've got a hundred pound budget. We always say the hundred pound bit. We've got a hundred pound budget each pound budget for the yeah. whole of June. We're gonna do some little updates. I thought maybe maybe just a little update, maybe once a week See for how it's going. Yeah, for how it's going. I'm gonna take out the cash point in cash. I'm going to use cash for that hundred pound yeah. for the month of June. I'm Sorry, taking my bank cards out of my purse. Yeah, so, I'm not gonna carry yeah. my bank cards. I've got one credit card on my Apple Pay. I'm gonna leave that on there. In the event of an emergency, in the event of the kind of emergency where the car breaks down and you have to, or you have to buy a tire on the spot or anything like that, I I would feel more comfortable having something that I can use mm. for emergencies. But I intend to not use it, and that's why I'm going to use, keep a credit card on there instead of a debit card, because a credit card I'm much less, less likely, likely to, to use f to use anyway. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to have a hundred pound of cash. I'm going to keep little little tally of what I've spent. We're going to check in once a week and tell you guys how it's gone. And, and how we've avoided temptation and how it's felt avoiding temptation and how miserable we are and how, how much we hate the plan and how we wish we hadn't done it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we, could be, any... we could be absolutely buzzing about it. and <laughs> That's a northern sarcasm. Sorry. You're going to find this easy. 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 You're gonna find, yeah, find it a lot easier You're going to talk than you are. <laughs> I don't know why I can't easy. speak. Easy. <laughs> You're going to find it easy. Is this some kind of dig about me being a tight northern? Because you are from Yorkshire. It's in the blood, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's in the blood. That's how I managed to spend more on the cruise than you did. Because tightness is in my that. blood. Yeah. But, but yeah, you can I believe in you. I was doing alright till we found the Harry Potter shop. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't doing too bad till then. I was I did very well because it just wasn't anything I wanted to buy. One of the things about getting massively fat again is means nothing fits, so I don't buy any clothes. So that's great. I bought clothes. Well, maybe you should put some weight on, and then you won't buy any clothes next time. No. No. Okay. So we hope you've enjoyed this little chatty video. There is another video that's going to come up very soon, and we're going to be in the same clothes because we're going to record a second video <laughs> in a minute on a different subject. I might get changed. I'll just switch some giggles. <laughs> So yeah, just in case you click on another video, I think these two look, maybe we'll swap sides. <laughs> they look the same, that's because we've got another video to record on a different matter. But yeah, please run along to Claire's Just Giving page and um, pop a couple of quid in her yeah, kitty. Massive thing she's doing. And also check out her Instagram. She's also taken, oh, she's got a career move and she's going into, she's gone into telly. Did you see the McDonald's advert? There was a recent McDonald's advert where everybody raised their eyebrows. Claire's in it. Claire's in it. I'm going to see if I can find it and I'll, and I'll show you. Yeah, see if I can find it and put it in. <laughs> She's, she's been in a massive appetite that's exciting yeah it is yeah it was nice to meet her i've never met her before yeah she's nice really nice her. yeah she's lovely so yes that's what we came here for we've told you what we're going to do and check us up check us out check us in check she us really we'll be checking in with worse today aren't you <laughs> <laughs> we I wonder how much of this is going to be edited out because she always leaves my stupidness in. I wonder how much of yours is going to remain at the end of this video. I never say anything stupid. Uh huh. Check. We will be checking in later in the week to let you know how we're going because so today is the thirty first, isn't it? Today's thirty first, Friday the thirty first of May. Yeah, it's payday today. We've just been paid. Yeah, so we're gonna run along, take my hundred pound at cash point, put it into my purse with a a bit of paper so I can keep a tally or whatever, and we'll see you in about a week's time to let you know how we're getting on. Yeah. Sounds like one. Wish us luck. We're going to need it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye, Bye. for now. <laughs>